أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وكفى وسلامنا على عباده الذين اصطفى This is lesson 14 on the course on guiding students to discerning between the 10 recitations. In this lesson, we'll now be looking at the combined applications. What we mean by this is that when you have a particular way of, way of reciting being heard, then it's not just one qari or rawi. It could be two, it could be three, it could be even more than that. So you don't know exactly what it is, but you can narrow it down. From amongst all the seven qurra, amongst all the 14 ruwat, you can narrow it down to maybe two or three of them. Then you have to listen for other applications to identify it further and figure out exactly who the qari or the rawi is. So we're looking again at rules pertaining to mud. We have mad lazim, mad aril, mad muttasil, and mad bunfasil. Okay, so we discussed some of the other mads. Now we're going to look at these over here. And in mad lazim, all the qurra agree on making mad. And furthermore, they also agree on the length. All of them agree that it will be a tool. Six harakat. And if lam all the Qur'an will pull it to that length. None of them will pull it shorter than six harakat. One Again, the first man, one Allah that one, six harakat. All the Qur'an agree upon that. Then we have Mad'aril, which is a mad that is caused by temporary sukun, normally due to waqf. All the Qur'an will have qasr, tawasud, and tu. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. O Ar-Rahim, O Ar-Rahim. All the Qur'an will have those options. Then you have Mad Muttasil. This is when a Hamza follows a letter of Mad, and it is in the same word. Ja'a, Ji'a, Su'a. All the Qur'an they agree on making Mad, as they did in Mad Lazim. This is a Mad that is wajib. This is mentioned in the Tuhfa. Mad that is wajib. However, they do not agree on the length. So all the Qur'an agree that you must make mad. You can't do it with just two harakat with qasr leading on it is intrinsic length. All of them say you must read it more than that. However, they differ as to how long. Some will say four, others will say longer six. So all the Qur'an, except for Warush and Hamza, they will read with tawasut. Right? Everybody except Warush and Hamza they will apply tawassut for harakat. Whereas Warush and Hamza, on the other hand, they are going to read with two. They will pull it, but pull it a bit longer. They will pull it to six harakat. So, ja, ji, su, a. We saw that Warush also pulled the mad bado, the mad lean. So, there's a lot of mudud in the riwaya of Warush via Azraq. So you can pause the video at this particular point to complete the exercise. You need to highlight those places where Warush and Hamza will apply to, which is basically a mad muttasil, um, a letter of mad followed by Hamza in the same word. Once you've completed, you can resume the video, inshallah. This is where it will be applied in these verses. One more. Then I have to listen to the recitation, and when you had been being pulled longer than four harakat, then you know it is Warsh or Hamza. If it's pulled four harakat, as you have with the riwayah of Hafs, then it will be any of the remaining Qurra. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahi r-Rahmanir rahim Ulaika ala hudam mir rabbihim. وَإِذْ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ اسْجُدُوا فَيَخْرُجُ مِنْهُ الْمَاءُ وَإِنَّ مِنْهَا وَيَسْفِكُ الْدِمَاءَ وَنَحْنُ وَالسَّمَاءَ بِنَاءٌ وَأَنْزَلَ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ مَاءً فَأَخْرَجَ بِهِ So in the first four, 
of these verses over here, when I read with the two, you don't know exactly what it is, but you can narrow it down to Warsh or Hamza. However, here in the fifth verse, you could actually have figured out exactly what it is. Why? Because there was another application that narrows it down. So listening at Wasama, you're adding the tool over there. Now you're thinking, okay, it's Warsh or Hamza. But then there was another change that was made over here. Which was the Tanween followed by the Wow. I did there without Hunna. Without Hunna. And if you've been paying attention to previous lessons, that is the Riwaya of Khalaf. So in that case, you know exactly what it is. It is now Khalaf. Okay, you've narrowed it down from Marsh and Hamza. Hamza includes Khalaf and Khalad. It is specifically Khalaf. It was not Khalad or Warsh. They would have read in this way. So now you can use the QR code or the link to listen to the Riwaya of Warush or the Qiyam of Hamza and listen out for the application of two in the Mad Mutasil. Again, this is a combined application. When you hear two in Mad Mutasil, you don't know exactly what it is, but you know it is either Warush or Hamza. وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين